Welcome back to Life in the Wind. We're here aboard our Vagabond 47, yet to be named. Uh, we are going to be working on engine wiring today. Um, not the actual engine wiring, more engine room wiring that goes up to the cockpit panel. Um, trying to get some of that cleaned up and we'll see how it goes. Here we go. Yeah, so today I think I'm gonna continue working in the engine room, tracing down another AC wire and we're gonna try to clean things up and run new wire where needed. <laughs> um, let me show you what we have so far. It doesn't really look a whole lot different. Um, one thing was that there was a few wires up here at the top uh, yesterday that we pulled because we're gonna be running a new a new wire. It's a uh, it's for the masthead light and spreader lights steaming light and all that so it goes back through there through there all the way up to the mast which you can see a bunch of these wires hanging down there and that's where it goes up Vicky uh, has constantly been trying to get me to get a wire tracer, like, you know, tone generator. You clip it on one side, it makes noise. Um, I've been, so far, I've been kind of really cheap and just, eh, I don't want to get that. I don't want to spend the 20 bucks or whatever. Um, but I figured here's a bundle of wire that I'm trying to figure out which one it is without pulling the entire thing. Uh, so I want to just show you real quick. Um, so what you do is you clip it on the ends and you turn you turn this guy on and then that'll send a tone so it'll pick up the noise wherever which on whichever wire it is um, but I wanted to show you basically what it's supposed to sound like when you find the right wire and then I'll go on the other side where the wire is and I'll show you so we know it's this wire here. Obviously, it's connected right to it. Uh, so I go like... So that's pretty unmistakable. Um, so I know it's in this bundle here. And it looks like it's that top wire, which doesn't really help me there because it's still in a bundle of wire. Um, so if I go here... So if I go up in here where the rest of the wires are, they all come in here. And so I found... So there's our wire. Now I gotta go up top. Uh, it looks like it used to be a wire that was connected to one of the gauges. Uh, it's obviously no longer used for whatever reason, so I want to figure out what that is before I start yanking the wire out. Um, I'm up top now. I took apart a couple of screws. Uh, look at that rat's nest. Uh, anyways, so it turns out it wasn't connected to anything, so I went ahead and pulled it. I'll show you. It's just a dangling wire, but I also found this guy's disconnected. Um, there's a few things here that are not used for whatever reason. Um, I vaguely remember the ammeter didn't really do anything. Um, and this little light here. Uh, so I vaguely remember this ammeter here didn't really work uh, before. Um, and this light down here, I mean, I was told by the previous owner that it never worked. Um, I feel like I can't imagine why. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Basically, these go to the light. Not really sure what the light was going to show. Um, but, yeah, the ammeter wasn't really working before, so I'm not sure what the deal is with that. But everything else was working, so I'm, I'm actually not going to fiddle around with this too much right now. Um, 
I have other, there's going to be other ways to deal with the ammeter. Yeah. So this one here, um, I trace it down and it's actually not connected to anything. Famous last words, but I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. There we go. All right. Not a lot else down here that I want to fiddle with right now. So I'm going to go ahead and put all this back. Oh, you know what? One thing. I figured I'd show you while I'm here. So this is the old uh, oil pressure gauge. Um, it used copper tubing. Oil would go through there and it would just, it was a mechanical. Um, so there we go. I'm going to pull that through as well. Um, yeah, I remember there wasn't a, an oil pressure on here. Or yeah, there is dirt. I'm an idiot. There's an oil pressure on here, but uh, I think it's fed via other means. Um, so prob <laughs> probably the Cielo one that goes down, if I were guessing. All right. And say I knew everything. I just uh, figured out, I guess, as I go. So, yep, here's that wire. Um, literally wasn't doing anything. I could have just gave it a tug, but uh, I learned a while ago don't do that. Might break something. <laughs> All right, so Vicky's not here, so I'm going to take out the old battery charger because it's in the way and I'm tired of looking at it. Uh, this never really worked. Um, I mean, I probably could have tried to fix it, but, um, I honestly, I don't, I'm going to get a different backup battery charger. This is the backup battery charger. Sorry, I should say, uh, even the previous owner never used it. Um, he said it was on there when he bought it and he put in an inverter charger, uh, which then he took when he sold the boat. So. Uh, he gave me a an old inverter charger that's kind of hooked up that kind of works, but we're going to be replacing that. So not a huge deal, but yeah, this old battery charger was a backup battery charger for an inverter charger that is no longer on the boat. Yeah, it's going to come off. There we go. It's out. That was uh, super easy, but God, that thing weighs about a metric ton. Uh, yeah, and I thought this was pretty cool. Um, in order to fit a box in here for the outlet, he cut it to fit around the battery charger. Snazzy. There it is. In all its glory. Today's daily dose of, uh, what the F. So you can't see that. Hopefully you, you understand what, like, <sighs> so I took a, just a, some speaker wire, some like really terrible speaker wire, wrapped it around this terminal and then stuck it back in there like it was okay and then tightened it down. I mean, I guess it kind of works, but uh, I don't know how well it's going to show up, but there's quite a bit of corrosion there. I doubt that it would have worked after a period of time. I mean, this is in the engine compartment too, so there's a little bit more frustration there. Anyways, it wasn't connected to anything on the other side, so I guess it doesn't really matter. While I was in the engine the other day pulling the mast wires, um, we noticed that there are a lot of wires that are run on the outside of each of these raceways. So my job is to cut all these lovely little, um, not twist ties. Zip ties. Zip ties. There are other tie and ties. I'm going to cut those off. I know. I'm not awake yet. I'm going to cut all those off and we're going to try to get everything kind of unbound to each other and put nicely into the raceways so that way in the future when we're working on the engine we don't accidentally pull any wires or make any wires so I 
I was rerunning some of the wires in the engine compartment. And look, 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 look what I found. This right here is why you check your crimps. Because this would explain why our engine light, workroom light, was on the fritz. Yeah, that ain't good. So, good thing we found it. We're gonna re-fix it. And there's probably more other things that we need to fix, but I'm gonna finish tracing all of this. As part of cleaning up the engine room, we have to clean up this panel, which is mainly for the mast headlights, the nav instruments, all that kind of stuff. Um, also, where you start the engine. Um, so, cleaning up this is going to clean up a bunch of those wires in the engine room, which will make me a lot happier because that engine room is quite a mess right now. Hello. So, anyways, we are working again in the engine compartment today. So we are going to be running the AC cable from the panel through the engine compartment and to this lovely galley. So we were about to put a raceway down here and notice that this box is not secure to the actual boat. This is very weak. And there are a lot of um, heavy duty pumps and stuff that need to be supported by this. So we are going to be taking this out eventually when we do a bunch of work in the engine uh, to get it more secure. So that way when we are underway, nothing falls off of it into the bilge or um, ends up hurting the engine or causes more issues in the future. So catch it before it becomes a bigger problem is our main goal here. So. Okay, now that we're done with this engine for now, we have pulled wires, we've done the cockpit panel, and we've also found some issues that need to be addressed in the future, in future episodes. But for now, it looks really nice. So. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing, and commenting on our videos. We'll see you soon. Bye. Great. I've had to learn a lot of engine words. What's your favorite new engine word? The uh, starter solenoid. What about the the big round thing that has the belt attached to it? <laughs> the big round thing that has the belt attached to it. Which is called? Um... Some might say it alternates the current. Oh yeah, it's the alternator. <laughs> <laughs> I make better words. Cool. Yeah. All right, I'm back to work. Stop distracting me. Vicky learned what a solenoid was today. Ow! I knew what a solenoid was. I no, didn't. you didn't. She didn't know what a solenoid Not on was. An engine. Oh yes, yes. A solenoid on an engine is totally different from a normal solenoid. It looks different.